They're to water what snowmobiles are to snow, what motorcycles are to road. The proper term for these adrenaline-pumping, wind-in-your-face vehicles is personal watercraft, but in Canada, most people call them sea dews The fiberglass shell that's the body of the craft is molded at another factory. It arrives here, ready-made. Workers use a template to position decorative decals on the upper shell, called the deck. Next, they install rubber foot pads on the steps. A robot drills holes in the lower shell, called the hull, first for the drainage system, then for the exhaust system. Next, workers install the straps that will hold the internal components in place. Then they install the rubber pad that goes under the motor. Next comes the motor mount to hold the motor in place. Finally, the motor itself. This 130 horsepower engine arrives at the factory fully assembled. It's a matter of putting it in place. Next, they install the jet pump. That's what gives the watercraft its jet power. Then the battery, then the drive line. That's what links the motor and the jet pump. The 54 liter gas tank goes in next. They connect the drive line, then install the jet housing. That's a protective casing around the jet pump. Meanwhile, a robot works on the deck. It applies globs of glue in key locations. Workers stick on various straps that will hold internal components in place. Then the robot glues the circumference of both the hull and deck. They heat the hull to activate the glue. then clamp the deck to the hull. The glue takes about 15 minutes to dry. Using an ultrasound machine, they inspect the seal to make sure it's watertight. Next, they install the hood and steering column. Now it's time to run an engine test. The last step is to install a plastic bumper. A roller presses it securely into place. 